This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Here we go, slowing down again. <laughs> this is a uh, burden of my life. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke and as you can see, we are in a bit of traffic. It's a bit of a nightmare. We've been in this traffic already for at least five, 10 minutes. And most sat now saying there's another 12 minutes to go. It's very sort of stop go. One minute it speeds up like this, next minute it slows down again. M3 East entry delays, which is where we want to go. We're on the M27 at the moment, but we do want to be getting onto the M3. And here we go, slowing down again. <laughs> this is a uh, burden of my life. Can't stand sitting in traffic. So boring, but it's an inevitability. It's going to happen, and I suppose sooner or later I will get used to it. But I just can't, can't stand sitting in traffic, man. Never mind. So we started work this morning. Um, I was in work for about half past three, just after half three. Taco was in 3.45. And um, by four o'clock, we were out of there. We were out of the yard. And uh, yeah, so we started driving around about four o'clock this morning. It's now uh, 10 past seven. And we are, f we basically this morning I left from Cricklade, which is just outside Swindon where we're based and drove down to Southampton via M4, then 34. Um, and now we are leaving Southampton and we're on our way to Winnerch, it's up towards Reading area. So we're gonna be going M27, M3 up to Basingstoke and then I think it's the A33. I think, I'm not sure. It's gonna go over into lane one, seeing as there's nobody on my near side and might as well just do it while I can. I've got to get off in a couple of miles. The problem is lane one tends to be quite a busy lane when there's a lot of traffic because you've got traffic joining and exiting and and there is at least a, one more junction coming up so I might need to get back into lane two in a moment but we'll wait and see. There's no need for me to be in lane two at the moment. So yeah, um, not really sure what we're doing today. On our way to Winurch which is Wyville Garden Centre. And yes, that is the place I got stuck at. <laughs> and yes, it is also uh, the last place I went to in my last vlog. So two vlogs now and going to the same place. One was at the end of the shift and one is at the beginning of the shift. So that's where we're going. No idea what we're doing later. Um, we need to get a break in while we're there. So I expect I get tipped and if they're not busy, I'll just have a break in their car park or something. We'll have to wait and see because I'm on two hours driving now and it's gonna be another hour and a bit, an hour and a half at least to get there. So we're looking at three and a half hours. I'm not gonna be able to get all the way back without having a break. So we'll wait and see, we'll see what the driving time is. We might have a break there, half an hour break, or we might have half an hour break on the way back down to Southampton at services. We shall wait and see. Anyway, I'm gonna go now because uh, I know it's quite dark, you probably can't even see me, but you can hear me. And uh, I will, I'll see you in a bit, basically. And hopefully a bit, a bit lighter. Right, so we are nearly here. I always, uh, can't remember which lane to be in. Go for lane one to begin with. I think I'll need to get into lane two, around this corner. So yeah, we're um, just around the corner now from uh, where we need to be. Winnersha Garden Centre in Reading. We left Southampton two hours ago. So it's taken quite a while to get here. Ugh. Traffic on the M27 and M3 didn't help. But um, by the time I got to Basingstoke, up the A33, it um it all died out so it's not too bad but yeah the, the traffic this morning was absolutely mental not ideal right are these lights going to change today or are we going to have to wait until christmas change 
they're still green. They're still green for the cars that aren't even there. Come on, here we go. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure which lane I need to be in, so I'm just making sure I'm not cutting anybody up. Bear in mind, I do actually have a trailer on. So we do want to turn left, but I want to be in the second lane, just in case. So we're now in lane two, and hopefully we can get round in this lane. More traffic lights. They might both go there, I'm not sure, but we've got to go left and then turn right, so... I'd rather be in this lane, because if it's wrong, I can just get over to the left, it doesn't matter. But if I'm in the left lane and it's wrong, I've got to get over to the right. If I don't get over in time, I miss the turning. Come on then, green lights, let's go. Go, 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 you're on your phone. Not many people know this, I don't think, because like car drivers, but we can see inside <laughs> your, your car and we can see if you're on your phone or not. Does that lane go round? Yes, it does. So this second lane does go round, but there was a van in the way. We need to go right round. So that's the garden centre there. Um, last time we come here, so yes, uh, not yesterday, my last vlog, um, we, we actually got here a little bit earlier. We were here for like seven o'clock in the morning. Whereas, like I said, it's now nine o'clock and, um, well, the garden centre is going to be open, so there's going to be cars in there, or I would expect there to be some cars in there at least. I'm just trying to have a look now. Oh, it looks quite quiet, actually. It doesn't look too busy. And the roads look quite quiet as well. Because remember, I've got to use up both lanes just to get in. So I've got to slow the traffic down. And sooner the better, really. There's no cars on my inside at the moment. One on my outside. Man, this roundabout is rubbish. There's like no cars on the left-hand side. There's no reason for the lights to be red, but they are. start using up both lanes just as that car decides he wants to cut in I've decided to use up both lanes and as I did that that car who was behind me it just cut up in front of me got loads of cars on my inside now There we go. Gates are open, that's good. There we come. Yeah, so it's quite quiet at the moment, so that's good. Doesn't look to be as if there's anyone here. What I do need to do, obviously, is park up and make sure I can actually get down there before I actually drive down. So, just like last time, I've got to stop here. And right, so I'm going to go and make sure I can get down there. See you guys in a sec. Okay, so here's the situation. We, uh, we tipped there in Reading. Uh, Winnerch, to be precise, we managed to tip there. Um, really quick tip, didn't get time to set up any uh, cameras or anything, unfortunately. So um, we've come back to Southampton. It's now, well, let's see. The new iPhone update allows you to, to do screen record. So I'm gonna do a screen record and you can see what I'm about to look at. So recording 
now. So the time is 12.02, as you can see. And we are going to Thiel next, build base in Thiel. So that's what I'm going to type in here, build base near Thiel, not Newbury, Thiel. And is that the one? Yeah, this is the postcode anyway that I'm going to use. Right, so we are now just around the corner, and I don't know why I'm talking like this, but we are just around the corner from Build Base in Thiel. So it took us about an hour and a half to get here, so it wasn't too bad. We uh, ended up going M3, uh, M27, M3, Basin State, and then off at 34 and followed that all the way up basically. And uh, yeah, we're just around the corner now. Um, I'm hoping they get me tipped quite quickly because I've got to get back down to Southampton to be preloaded for the morning. Um, but obviously the place I get loaded from, they close at five o'clock. So ideally I need to be back by half past four. Um, bear in mind that it takes an hour and a half to get there. And it means I need to leave here by three o'clock. And it's 10 past two now. And it normally takes an hour to tip. So it's not looking likely that I'm going to be able to make it back and get preloaded, which is very annoying, but we'll try. If they can get me tipped nice and quickly, that would be good. And then it's just a case of driving back and then giving the guys a call, telling them when I'm going to get there. And um, if they want to load me, they can load me. If they can't load me, then I'll have to park up around the corner and get loaded in the morning, which will then make tomorrow a, uh, a longer day. I'm hoping I can get loaded today. I already know that tomorrow I've got to go to Travis Perkins in Petersfield, Travis Perkins in Andover, and I've also got to go to Sydenham's in Pule. And they said I can do them in any order I like, as long as Petersfield is first. Also, it needs to be an AM delivery, and um, if I don't get loaded this tonight, it might be a bit difficult. Never mind. So here we go. Arrowhead Road. Thank you very much. I'm hoping, uh, as always, that when we get there, there is nobody else waiting to be tipped. Every time I've come here so far, I've gone straight into that place I spoke to you about earlier. Straight into the little, I don't know what you'd call it, like dead end area drop down the sides and I've been tipped within an hour so hopefully it's the same as every other time but um, probably not going to be it the one time I want to get out quickly I expect I'm going to have to wait I've also never had to stop for cars before coming down here so it's already a great start Lots of blind corners. And I can't see anything coming around this corner. So I've got to crawl around there in case there's a car coming. No, can't see anything. All good. And we won't know until we get down the end of this road whether I can get tipped straight away. I do see something. But is that in the yard or out the yard? Oh, is it a lorry or was it not a lorry? No, I don't think that was a lorry. Just wood. So, we are getting tipped. There's nothing behind me. There's a pallet where I want to park. He's just had a wee wee, I think. Right, going to have to move that pallet out of the way before we run over it. Easy peasy, right. Let's go make an acquaintance and hopefully get tip. Right, unfortunately, I didn't get any uh, dash cam footage, uh, GoPro footage of me getting tipped. So apologies for that. 
my GoPro I was going to use, decided it was going to die. It didn't help that I didn't charge it up. Anyway, so we're just turning around now. There's a lorry waiting to get in. He turned up literally five minutes before I got here. So, I think I'm gonna park here. He's gonna drive forward. And that's it, off we go. Right, so I mean, luckily, we didn't do too bad for time. So I wanted to be back in Southampton for half past four. <clears throat> Current ETA, 16.26. So we're four minutes ahead of schedule. So what I need to do in a second is call them and tell them that that is my ETA and ask them if they actually want me to come in and get preloaded. I expect they do want me to go in and get loaded. Uh, and then, we need to take a look at driver's hours and how much driving I've done because, um, yeah, we're a little bit shy on driving time. I've got about three hours worth of driving left before I reach my 10 hours. So I've only got two hours before I reach my nine. And I've only got an hour and a half left before I need a half an hour break. So I might well need to get a break in while I'm getting loaded or while they've loaded me, once they've loaded me, get a break in, however way it's done. Maybe just go in the canteen for half an hour and chill out while it's getting loaded. And then when my half an hour's up, I can then, if I want to, drive to Petersfield, because I believe that's where I'm going next, Petersfield. But, oh, I don't want to go out then. If I do drive to Petersfield, I might not have enough driving time to actually get there. So like I said, it's all, it all depends on how many hours I've got left and I'm not going to bother figuring it all out now. I'm going to have to wait until I actually uh, get loaded first. It's a bit tight here, isn't it? So yeah, the plan is go back to Southampton. The wheel spinning up here. Go back to Southampton, get loaded, see how much driving time I got left, and work until I got left. If I can make it, then I drive there. But we wait and see. We wait and see. So I'll see you back in Southampton. Right. We are this close from going over driving time, but we are all right. We just made it. If I did run out of driving time, I would have parked up. Um, we are going to be there in three minutes. I got five minutes left of driving time. So, literally, as soon as I get in there, I'm going to have to put it on brake while they load me. And um, if I can't get a brake in, then um, I'm going to have to get loaded, pull outside after they've loaded me, and uh, get, get a brake in outside their gates. They will, they'll be locked up because they close at five o'clock. But um, that'll be the only time then I can get a brake in. So. If I can get a break in while they load me, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, I'll sit in the canteen, have a break for half an hour. But um, I don't think that's going to happen, so... It's looking like... We ain't going to finish this shift until about quarter past five, twenty past five. And then I need to make a judgement call as to whether or not I'm going to... drive to where I need to be. Because I started at quarter to four this morning. So, um... I can only drive until quarter to seven. Well, I can only work till quarter to seven. I need to work out how much drive time I've got left. It's about 45 minutes away. And I need to bear in mind there will be traffic. So um, we're, we're across that bridge in about half an hour or so after I've had the break. And I'll do some calculations. But um, yeah, today, so far then, we've done two runs. They've sent me quite far away both, both times. The first time was to... Um, some people parked up there, look. Yeah, first time was to Winnich in Reading, so that was two and a half hours there. Uh, sorry, two hours there, because I got stuck in traffic. Hour that, while I was there, and an hour drive back. So that's a one, two, three, four and a half hour round trip. And then 
I got back here and it took an hour to be loaded and then it was an hour and a half to Theo, hour and a half back and also an hour to get loaded, uh, tipped there. So time's adding up. Bear in mind it also took me now 45 minutes to get down to Southampton this morning. So driving time is definitely racking up and I've definitely done a few kilometres. I am interested to see, interested to see what I've done later. It's been a long day today, but I, I feel like I could drive for longer. I've said it before, like, I could drive longer, it's just I can't legally. I feel safe to drive, not tired. And, um, yeah, I could carry on, but... Laws are laws. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Right, we are here and we've got two minutes left on, on the driving time. We're on 4.28 right now. So, let's get in here, let's get loaded and we'll probably park up here to have a break. Get a left straight in and it looks like we can go straight round towards the front as well because there's a tipper driver behind me, he can come straight in and park there. Okay, right. See y'all in a bit. Right, so the situation is this. We have run out of driving time. We could not get a break in while we were there. So we're now parked outside and uh, just around the corner and we're having a half an hour break here. We are dead on four hours and 30 minutes. So it's very, very close and you don't really want to be doing that to be honest. But uh, we're here. We haven't gone over driving time, so it's all good. We're having a half an hour break and we need to, um, have a look at the situation and see whether we are actually going to be driving to Petersfield today. I've already got the postcode in the sat nav, but I'm just going to show you on here anyway. Um, we are going to Travis Perkins in um, Petersfield. It should come up. There we go. So it's Bedford Road. And um, what we do is normally we come down from this location here. So we uh, Frenchman's Road, we come down over this roundabout, turn right down here. We'd normally park up around about here and then have a wander in, make sure we can get in where that lorry is from there. And uh, if we can, we drive around, it's quite a tight hand turn and then another tight hand turn there to the left. Now, the first time I actually ever went here, I did end up crapping myself a little bit. And I'll show you why. There's a bridge, a very, very low bridge. And uh, in terms of height, hang on, too far. In terms of height, it is 10 feet 6 inches, and I am 13 feet 6 inches. So um, I don't want to uh, be all big headed, but I've got a good 3 feet on the, on the bridge. But rather than going straight down there, we actually turn off right. Normally park up here, not, although you're not actually allowed, but screw them. And then, uh, yeah, you come down here, walk down here. Uh, when you do drive in, like I said, this is a quite a tight right hand turn. There's normally cars parked in the way. Come down here, very tight. You've got to watch your trailer on the corner, or you're going to clip it. And if you don't clip the trailer, you, you might clip a car. So you've got to be very careful, very tight down here. And apparently, one lorry did actually clip a car, which was parked pretty much where that white car is there. It tried to make done the tight left hand turn into the yard, and the back of the trailer actually hit the car. So. Uh, yeah, it is tight. Do a left-hand turn in there, another sharp left. You end up parking where that Travis Perkins lorry is there. So, not bad. In terms of directions, it should be straight onto the M27, straight down, and then up to Petersford, Petersfield. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not bad. Um, not going to take too long to get there. We've just got to look at driving time, really. So, uh, let's have a loop. There's a siren going off, so let me just close the curtain a sec. And also, let's just double check we are still on break, because I don't want to find out we're not. So, driving-wise, I've done eight hours and 23 minutes, so that means I can only drive for another 
37 minutes and I am 47 minutes away. So I will go over my nine hour driving time allowance. That being said, you can extend it to 10 hours. So I will be breaching into 10 hour driving, which is absolutely fine. It's legal to do that as long as you don't do it too much. It needs to be, my mind has completely gone blank. You can't do it any more than three times, I believe, in a week, a fortnight, something like that. Don't quote me on that because I'm not thinking straight at the moment. What is it? It's 11, daily rest is 11 hours and it can be reduced to nine hours twice a week. So I'm pretty sure you can do 10 hours twice a fortnight, twice a week. Can't remember. Anyway, so I'm going to do that anyway. Um, in terms of total driving time, uh, not telling me total working hours yet because I've not finished, but I started at 10 to 3 this morning. My card was actually in the machine. So let's just say quarter two, it's easy for me to work out. Quarter to three, and now it is nearly quarter past five. So three, quarter to four, quarter to five. No, quarter to four, quarter to four I started, not quarter to three, quarter to four. And it's now quarter past five, so that'd be 12, 13, 13 and a half hours, which means I can only work for another hour and a half. I'm having a half an hour break, which means I can only work for another hour once I finish my break. And I am 47 minutes away, so it's going to be, again, it's going to be very tight. It could go over, well, I'm not allowed to go over 15 hours, so if I get close to 15 hours, I'm going to have to park up. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't have to drive. I could park up right where I am right now. But um, it's a six o'clock tip. And I know if I'm not there outside the gate, then someone else is going to beat me. And I'd very much like to be the first lorry to be tipped. But then it's only 45 minutes away, so I could just get up at fucking five o'clock. Get there for quarter to six. Mm, mm, mm. Choices, choices, choices. Either way, I can't move anywhere at the moment because I've maxed out my driving time, so I've got to have a half an hour break. So, I do, I have half an hour and I reevaluate what I'm doing. Right, as you can tell, my alarm is going off. That means we have done 30 minutes. I'm just going to wait for it to tick over to 31, just so I can be doubly safe that I've had enough break. Uh, and because my taco was in at 10 to 4 this morning, that means I can work until 10 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 to 7 this evening. That means I can work until. Uh, current ETA is quarter past 6. So, I mean, I should have enough time. I've got a good 35 minutes spare. So if it was less than half an hour, then I'd be a bit wary. But uh, I've got half an hour worth of working time left, so it should be all right. Come on then, tick over to 31. There we go. All clear, all clear, all clear. Let's go. Window up, lights are on. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, so, I can work until 10 to seven and it's half past five now. So I've got an hour and 20 minutes worth of working time left. And I am 31 miles away, which is 47 minutes I've gone to the sat-nav. So, plenty of time. In terms of driving time, I'm just over eight and a half hours, which means I have an hour and a half of driving time left as well. And um, so basically I've got an hour and a half working time and an hour and a half driving time, pretty much. But let's just call it an hour for both. I don't want to go over an hour. Don't want to be driving past half six. I don't want to be driving for more than an hour. Just waiting for the clock to reset on my dash, because at the moment it says 4.30, and it should roll over to one minute once, there we go, once I've done a minute of driving. So we've done a minute of driving since there. So I now know, don't go over an hour's driving, or if I do, at least stop and check to see how much time I do have left. Should be about 28 minutes, something like that. But I should be good. It's nice to have that half an hour break because it gives you, come on, I'm flashing you, okay. It's nice to have that half an hour break because it gives you time to work things out and just relax for a little bit. I feel much more awake now. When I 
half an hour ago, I felt okay, but I felt like uh, I could also stop. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I could drive, and um, I kind of didn't want to drive at the same time. Could have gone to bed. But now I feel awake. I've had something to eat, I've had something to drink. I've worked out how much driving time I got left, how much working time I got left. I'm confident that I'm fine in driving. So let's rock and roll. Is, are you going to indicate? Yes, you are, last minute. Now it's half past five. The sat nav has not picked up any traffic yet. Uh, obviously that's going to be an issue if I start getting in traffic. But um, hopefully we'll be all right. Like I said, as long as I don't work after half six and as long as I don't drive more than an hour, we are fine. Even though I can do longer on both. But um, I'm not going to worry until I reach those criteria. So yes, it's looking good. Looking like we're going to drive to Petersfield now. We're going to park up outside their gates um, and then we're going to be ready first thing in the morning. <laughs> when guards stick their noses out like that, you're not really giving anyone a choice, are you? <laughs> so yeah, we should be ready for the morning. Anyway, enjoy the time lapse on the way there. At the moment, it's kind of getting dark, but um, I imagine by the time we get there, it will be dark and you're gonna see the time lapse footage of me driving there. Enjoy. I'm going to put on the red light, it might not help that much, but it might help a little bit. So, we are here in Petersfield, we are a mere four minutes away from where we are going to be parking up for the night, and hopefully there is no one else there. I'm hoping it will be just me. Let's get off this roundabout, anything come in? No, there isn't. Right, so I said earlier that I didn't want to drive for any more than an hour. Um, there is a car beeping for some reason. I think that car was beeping at me, even though there was nothing coming. He came around that corner quite fast. I was nowhere near him. I don't, I don't think he was beeping at me. Can't have been beeping at me. I was nowhere near him. Anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to be driving for no more than an hour, and we have been driving for 44 minutes, so that's good. Got 15 more minutes before we even need to be worried about how much driving time we got left. And I'm only three minutes away now, so don't need to worry about that. And in terms of time, I wanted to make sure um, I was here or nearly here by half past six. It's quarter past six. So, um, we're almost quarter past six. So again, we've, we've made it with plenty of time to spare. No issues whatsoever coming down here, apart from that car back there beeping but I genuinely don't think he was beeping at me. There was another car behind him. So maybe it was the car behind beeping the car at the front. Who knows? Maybe he was beeping me. Maybe, maybe he came around the corner way too fast and was a bit annoyed with the fact that my trailer was still on the roundabout. But as far as I could see, my trailer was out of his path. There was a bit of wheel spin there coming up that roundabout. Lovely jubbly. So where that car's turning right, that's where we are turning right. I don't know what to have for dinner. I'm not that hungry to be honest with you, but speaking to my girlfriend just now and she mentioned something about a lamb salad. And it does sound nice, but I can't can't have a lamb salad. Right, I've kept this clear but now I need to drive forward to let my intentions be known 
But I'm coming down here towards the right hand side. I'm not sure if he flashed me, I don't think he did. Next one. Thank you very much. We are pulling a heavy load and the road is quite slippery. Doesn't take much for a wheel spin. Right, we'll go down to the next part. Looks like he's letting me through. But now I'm stuck. Now I'm all right. It's just the car just decided to follow me down. So they're all waiting for him to get out of the way, but he's waiting for me to get out of the way, but then I'm waiting for that car to get out of the way. It's one of those vicious circles. So that's that bridge I was talking about. When you first come here, you're like, oh my God. But no, luckily we're turning right. We're not going under that bridge. I would wreck the lorry if I went under that bridge. Destroy it. I think that vehicle's waiting for me. So I'll flash him. So this is quite a tight corner. And it's also quite dark. So I can't see the trailer perfectly. But we're clear? Yeah, we're clear. We are clear. What is this garage called anyway? Bosch Car Service. Uh, parking here for the night. There's a sign on that gate. There was, it was on there the other day actually, but I can't remember what it said. It said something about opening later one day. I hope it's not tomorrow. Right, that'll do. We are parked up. We are done for the day. And what a day it's been, quite a long one. But it's, like I said, long shifts. They don't feel like long shifts because I enjoy my job and time just flies. And I feel like I could drive for longer. I feel like I could drive another hour, maybe an hour and a half. I could, pop, I could drive back to Southampton, no problem. Definitely. Anyway, let's turn the old dash cam off. So that's the dash cam off, and let's clear the go. Uh, not the GoPro. Yeah, I want a 24-hour report, not in UTC time. Let's clear the sat nav because I've now completed the route. And now that I finished my shift, this will tell me how many kilometres I've done. Nearly there. Said long day, long bit of paper. So we started at 3.51 and we finished at 7.28. 7.28? No, that's when we started driving, then we drove for 49 minutes. So we finished at 18.17. 3.51 to 18.17 works out that today we have done 539 kilometers. 539 kilometers. What's that in miles? 539 kilometers in miles. It's 334.92 miles. So basically 335. 335 miles I've done today. It's all good.
excellent day. Anyway, that's going to end the vlog today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Sorry we didn't get much uh, loading and tipping done from outside. But um, hopefully the next vlog will include a lot more to make up for it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.